Hey folks, in this episode, I'm going to try and visualize a conference. So here's a conference called SQL Bits. It has a load of different content available on it, it's like loads of information from past talks at this conference. See, even this year, it's 270 different videos to choose from. But where do you start? Well, what I'm trying to do is visualize the conference. I've got an idea in my head about different topics from the conference and then understanding these different talks, how relevant they are, what the sentiment is. So I'm diving back into ChatGPT and I'm using a bit of Python to go and get this information. Okay, so the first place we're going to start off, we're going to start the clock running now. We're going to be using the Bing plugin this time. So we're going to start with this website and we're going to try and work out where all those video links are. So these are actually YouTube links. And I'm going to go on to get on to ChatGPT to go and help me find those and it did recommend there like use an API uh, there might be an API there so how would I find that and it's giving me some directions here to actually have a look at the Google developer tools so I'm going to go back onto Chrome bring that up so here mentioned look on the network tab you need to refresh the page and then you can start looking for links that have like API in it or returning JSON data so I found a couple here so it looks like there's actually quite a few different API calls going on with this website I'm now back to chat GPT how, how do I go and get it uh, so I had to go and install a library there but now I've got some Python code coming back which I'm going to go go through and I'm now getting results back from the API that is running this website so now I'm going back and then looking at hey look at all the like how do I get the YouTube links from these uh, from these videos trying to pass out just those uh, YouTube URLs from there uh, so getting ChatGPT to help me out with that because I just want to find those video links so I'm trying to get this process where hey we're going to find the video link we're then going to have a look at the YouTube subtitles and then we're going to try and work out some topics from there I want to try and do this with a cut like a few videos to start with just to make sure the process works so hey, I've got my YouTube URL there. Uh, now I'm actually going to go and find those subtitles. So I've got another Python package to install, which I've done with the pip install. But I've got a script here of my video, which I'm going to go and try and find. You can see actually here, I've got the text coming back. I've got the transcript of the talk here. But you know, I need to go and format this data in a bit of a better way. It's just been returned to me on screen what I want. So I want it part of a table. In this case is going to be called a data frame in Python. So want yeah, we want to try and get all those subtitle, all that text in one like cell on my table. Also going to need to have the video ID in there as well to understand how I can relate that subtitles to the video to all the other metadata I have associated with that video. Okay, so I've got I've got my subtitles, I've got video, I've got the one case done here. What I want to do now is go on to go and actually work out the text analysis side. How how easy is that going to be? What's it going to look like? Uh, so in this case, I will want to be understanding the different topics. And I also want to be understanding the sentiment towards those topics and how relevant they are. Uh, so in this case, I'm opening up a new ChatGPT4 uh, module. I'm going to go back with the advanced data analysis, formerly known as Code Interpreter. And I'm going to give it some of the subtitle text as a spreadsheet. I'm going to upload that CSV. What I wanted to do is go and take that file and find the topics for me as a starting point. Uh, so I've asked her what I'd like to do. It actually says, hey, there's a few steps here. Which one would you want to do? So I want to do text processing modeling. Yeah, let's go on with that. So here I can then go and see that Python code that's been written out as well. Uh, now I've got that on ChatGPT. What I want to do is replicate it on my side as well. So here, yes, I can see I'm printing these results back to the console. I can see that text coming through. And now we want to go and start. We've cleaned up the text here. Now we want to try and find these topics. And you see here, actually briefly there, I have got some topics back, but they're quite similar. Uh, so yeah, you can see there I've got something about machines, then SQL data, then machines, machines, machines. Uh, what I want, I don't want those lengthy topics is what I want. Yeah, this, I want one or two words max coming back. But here, you can see I've got the word machine repeated again. I tried to ask ChatGPT to remove it. It removed machines, but I've still got machine. So what I'm asking it to do now is can it actually stem the words? So stemming is kind of taking uh, similar, like the word that may be machine, machines, and combining them as one word. 
uh, it's done that, uh, but now I've got a different topic going back, which is Yule, uh, which is not exactly much better either. Now I'm just going, I've done a lot with ChatGPT, again, I'd like to see that on my Python terminal as well, and you can see that I've got Yule coming back several times, and I, I, I don't want four topics of Yule. Uh, what I'm trying to get to is these unique topics, so I, that's what I've got ChatGPT to do here. So now I've got two topics coming back. I'm going to have to fix the Yule later, but SQL, that, that sounds pretty relevant for a SQL conference. Uh, now we're trying to get rid of that, that Yule. So here we are, we're adding it to this list of stop words. So stop words are just general common words that don't have much meaning. They're sort of added um, parts of text that wouldn't infer any meaning. So we're trying to remove those here. Lastly, I'm just playing around here with number of different topics coming back and I tried one, I tried two, I tried three, one is coming out far the best. Uh, so with this, I've, oh, okay, let's just proceed. Let's see if we can understand how relevant this topic is and the sentiment behind it as well. So here we're building into more Python libraries to find uh, the relevance is using this text frequency as one part and then the TDF uh, scores the other. So here we go. So we're now building out these results so we can see those results coming printed back to the terminal there as well. So we've got results for SQL and now we've got a new word, year, coming back instead of Yule uh, with some relevance there. Okay, so we've got text relevance coming back. We're now going to work out sentiment here. So we've got two terms here. We've got polarity and subjectivity. So polarity is how positive or negative they are with this and then um, subjectivity is how factual they are versus opinion based as well. So now yeah, I'm getting this nicely printed out as a data set here. Uh, but yes, this is what happens. My Python script is very long, very messy. So what I'm doing here, actually getting ChatGPT to rewrite my script in a much more coherent, understandable fashion, uh, which it did really well. I was quite surprised with this. Uh, so it's gone and taken all my Python script, turned it into functions. So it's quite a simple output here. And now I can see that output here. I outputted it to a CSV file just so I can go and check it in Excel. That all looks good to me. Okay, let's go back. So I've got one case working. Now I want to go and get all those other cases going as well. 270 videos, you remember. So what we're doing here is going back over our initial like YouTube video get and looping it to get all the videos. So our API call uh, would return a list of videos, but then it wouldn't give us the URLs. So we then have to start looping through all 270 individually. Uh, so what I'm doing here is now running that loop. So I've put a time function in, like a sleep function in here, just to make sure there's a pause between every few seconds, uh, just so we're not hitting that API and causing that website any problems in terms of traffic. And yeah, you can see we've gone into super speed here because it's 270 and I'm pausing. But yeah, the day has come back. We saw it there on Excel. All good. Um, we're now running into these subtitles issues. So I've got one here where it says oh, it wasn't in English. It was in Dutch. But I saw then. Uh, actually, no, it is in English. Uh, it's just that it's picking up on the person's accent or they're saying a few things in it in Dutch to start with. And I found other cases where videos aren't available anymore. Uh, so again, ChatGPT helped me out here and it's given me this sort of try accept uh, statement or try catch you may have seen before where it says, oh, try this. If you run into an error, do this. If you run into a different error, do this. And this is using the errors in the YouTube system. And I'm running that. And now, yes, we get back a list of our videos and our subtitles. Uh, but I notice like text is all there, but I noticed like it's quite a lot more text than there should be. And I didn't know what was going on until I, um, yeah, I saw this. This is meant to be a video ID in this cell, but actually it's a load of text. And when I expand it, yes, I can see, oh, actually we're getting something happening in our Excel file where the text is running over to the next cell. So I've got some suggestions here from ChatGPT, but what transpires, I try to fix it, but actually, I don't think this is 
uh, writing the file issue. I think this is just Excel itself dealing with it. And when I view the CSV in uh, VS Code here, it looks all right. It looks all right to me. And I can even see in the output that we've got 267 rows, which makes sense. We had a few videos that we need to skip because they weren't outputted. Again, I'm trying to get ChatGPT to do a lot of the work for me. So I'm getting it now to try and loop over all those individual subtitle text to go and then create those outputs for me. So the relevance, the sentiments, word counts for all those different um, topics as well. Okay, so I'm now getting this back. So you see these individual topics, terms for those videos. So a video can have multiple topics here, and that's fine. And then we're scoring each of those words. Now I'm just going through and just checking through some of the terms that have come back. Some appear to be a bit strange. Uh, so just a little pivot table and SQL. And yeah, you can see there like the third one down, um and ah. Uh, it's sort of typical words you say when you're presenting, you're like out of nerves, but not exactly uh, a topic I want for a talk. I don't want to have a topic on um so let's go back let's go back to our stop words let's get rid of those so what it's doing here so we have a standard list of stop words and then we get to add additional words to it and yeah we've got a lot this this turns out to be quite a bit of an issue in this because we have so many additional words to add Looking back on this, I don't know whether it would have been easier to try and stem the words and then try and take them out. But you can see I'm typing some out here, some of the main ones that keep coming up. After a bit of an error, I think we get it working again. So now we're able to rerun this and get some new topics. I mean, the topics look better. Uh, they look better, but we still get some coming back that are a bit strange that you wouldn't really infer any meaning from. Okay, so we've got our file now. Let's try and like think of that visual output. So this is what we've got to do. We've gone on to LAD data viz, gone on to the network diagram, and we've got to provide a JSON file coming back for this. So we want to understand the nodes and the links between those nodes. So the nodes will be our different topics and then how they link together. So which videos relate to which other topics. So I've given like ChatGPT the output of what we're trying to get to. And it's gone and made me a little script of how to get there. So I can see that I can print that out. That looks looks pretty good to me. So I'm going through that. I've now got a file and I can now put it into this this tool here to go and see how it's looking. And that doesn't look too bad. We've got quite a lot of single individual ones. I'm just playing around with the look and feel of it. So yeah, we've got a lot of these isolated topics. I thought they'd be much more centered like you'd have a central topic of like SQL and then all the different topics spanning off of that, but uh, not the case in this case, in this, in this scenario. Okay, so I'm playing around with that. I'm now going to download the Tableau workbook. I've got that into Tableau now. I'm not just building out the, ta the side table of all those different talks. So the idea is you'd interact with the network diagram that would help decide and find different talks depending on what topics you were interested in. Just looking at this now, there's a lot of topics there. There's a lot of text on the screen coming back on at you on the left hand side. And I've gone and saved it Tableau Public, but uh, yeah, I know there's there's some work to be done here. There's a lot of stop words we're gonna need to add in as well. Uh, like a topic of high, like HI is again not great. And, and as I was saying, this you can keep going and keep going with this and I didn't have any better solutions other than keep adding more. There was times here when I thought, oh, could you get rid of, say, just keep the top 50 topics here? Could you get rid of verbs? But then if you're having a topic on migrating, you know, migrating to the cloud, you want to keep that, right? So it became very painstaking almost. But now I've got like a refined model. I've got it back into the land data viz, like advanced viz uh, network diagram generator. And this, for what it is, I mean, some of them don't make sense. Like York, what's that about? Uh, I don't know. They look looks better than what it was, at least a lot more manageable on the eyes. 
Uh, but again, you can see it's all it's quite visually uh, distracting, but those individual ones coming back here, all of those like individual ones like don't have any related topics. So I don't really want those. I want to have that network of different source topics coming together. So reload the file, get this back into Tableau. I've updated the source files I'm doing. So now I have the talk titles in there with the topics. And now I'll give you the option as well to sort between your different. So you can sort by relevant talks, you can sort by sentiment, you can sort by subjectivity as well. Okay, so it's coming along nicely. I'm just going to tidy up my dashboard a little bit. It's very light on details, so I'm going to add in a bit about like the text and try and get ChatGPT to re-engineer re that text. Um, give some instructions because I'm going to put some interactivity in this. Got my sort in there, published again. Getting this to work. Yeah. Uh, sorting out tooltips, always a good thing to do. And uh, then, got on Tableau Public. We're now, yeah, we're changing the colors. So, trying to keep it on brand for the SQL bits is that kind of orange color. So, now we're just refining, we're just refining that last stage on the network diagram. So we had an issue in our JSON file. We've now been able to resolve that. I've got this here. So this now works for me. Yeah, so I'm getting much better topics coming back now as well. Like getting Azure, which is much more, we've still got York for some reason. Um, but I'm feeling better than where we were. Okay, so we've got that, so we can refresh our file. I couldn't get rid of those individual ones, so I just cut them out. But now, yeah, I've got a network diagram coming back, testing out the URLs, they work. I've now got this on there, but I've got to go and document this. So cheekily, I'm going to go and zip the folder I've been working in, and then going to put this into ChatGPT and say, hey, can you go and write my documentation for me? Can you write a readme for my GitHub? GitHub repository. So it's gone through, it's produced some work. I had to get it to rerun again, but we've got quite a lot of text coming through and that can be a good starting point for me in terms of putting a repository. So I've gone publish that on GitHub. That's done with all my code and data on one side. Ah, but this has been a long project. I, draw attention five hours this this took so i decided this that was enough i was going to call it here uh, there's always more i could be doing uh with the text analysis work more topics that kind of made it in yes i can see a yep in there so that wasn't great but overall for a little project from i had an idea i then was able to go and put it out there and iterate on it and build something up so we we got the data source we found all those, um, so we found the videos, we found the subtitle text, we then went and did all some like natural language processing, find the topics, find the sentiment, find the subjectivity of those, and then produce it into a dashboard. I thought that was really good. Uh, it did take longer than I expected, and this all sort of comes down to it, that you will still need to have the skills, the nuance of what you're working in here. So if I had more nuance, in natural language processing, maybe I had some better techniques up my sleeve to go and stem those words or get to the proper topics of those talks. Or potentially there was another method of finding the subtitled text, maybe a cleaner version of the subtitled text that didn't have quite so much ums and ahs in it. So plenty of options there, uh, but this is again showing you what's possible, what you can do, a bit of an idea, a bit of chat GBT and a bit of Tableau. Well, that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.